afternoon. So today I'm going to be sowing some seeds for you. Um, some of the women have asked on the forum meeting for garden related uh, videos. So I'm going to try my best to do a good little video for you on sowing seeds. Um, we're trying to do it as cheap as possible, to be honest with you, so you're not spending out loads of money. Um, people are wanting to redo the pots in the garden. You might have already well, you know, your sowed your seeds indoors and they got them out in the garden. You might have been lucky and they've survived. But with the weather we're having at the minute, there's still quite a lot of frost. So we need to try and keep them indoors for as long as we can. Uh, well watered, in the warm, ready for when planting out. So I'm just going to do like a basic sowing seeds with you. I've bought um, this packet from one of the shops, one of the gardens, cheaper like DIY shops. I think that cost me one forty nine, and it had a, it's got a mixture of quite a few different ones. So we've got Lobelia, Busy Lizzie's. Um, some of them I can't even pronounce. Marigold. There they are. All different little packets. The good thing about these seeds is it actually tells you on the back when you should be sowing, you know, when you they, they germinate, when they're ready to, you can either separate them and put them into bigger pots and then, you know, keep them going that way. Or once they are ready, you can put them straight into the ground, which is why today I'm using egg cartons these are great because once you have sowed your seeds and then they're ready to go out in the garden you can sort of just rip through the middle and across there and they can be planted straight into the garden because they're biodegradable so they'll basically just rot within your soil and it won't do your plant any harm and it won't do your garden any harm so so first of all the basic things we need are your seeds, yeah? Something to sow your seeds in. So we're using these. So if I just show you now, we've got just an, an egg box, yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate it down. Just there in the middle. It's a little, you could do it with scissors if you want to be really neat, but you could even leave that on and actually write down what seeds are in there if you wanted to sort of remember which is which. But to be honest with you, a lot of these are just bedding plants um, that are going to be going out in our community garden at the back. So you can use both sides, yeah? So we can fill those up. Again, if you want to keep them to write what they are, you can. I've got a couple left there, so we can always come back to that. Seeds are ready. So what I'm going to do first of all is I am going to fill these up. Yeah. Now some of you might start saying to me, you know, how much am I putting in, Nick? I'll do this one first. Don't worry about making a mess. We can always tidy up after. Yeah. So, you know, and this feels nice as well, getting your hands a bit dirty. So compost going in. Yeah. So filling it up. You don't want to be coming right to the top so it's all overflowing yeah but we've got to get look how little some of the seeds are the tiny yeah so they don't need to be right at the bottom this is to get it started to sow the seeds ready for when you put it out in the garden or like in a plant pot in a bigger pot it will grow and the roots will grow a lot more i will do a follow-on video hopefully if they grow fingers crossed yeah to show you, you know, what they look like and then we'll put them out in the garden. So I'll use this packet first. I'm just going to do another one with this so at least you can see how much I'm putting in that one as well. Yeah. So if we're getting in there, if you get a lump in your compost, literally just get your fingers through it. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. So we've got the two there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with these, okay? Now we'll start with the bigger ones so at least you can see them a bit better. Some of them are tiny, yeah? So let's get the top cut off. Be careful with the feather, yeah? 
Now I always find it better when I'm doing the seeds to put them in my hands so I know what I'm doing and where I'm going. So we put them in there like that. Yeah, you want to have a little look at them. Okay. And then ones are, oh, it doesn't, oh yeah, Slavia. So that's that one. Yeah. And that ends up growing, hopefully. See like that bottom one there, the red one? Slavia at the bottom. I hope I say that right. I'm not the best at saying the names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting, I'll go for like, say, two of those seeds, two to three, because sometimes they fail as well. So don't, you know, don't feel sad if they don't grow, because sometimes you can do loads of seeds, but some you're like, oh, they look amazing, I've got loads. And for others, you go back and it looks like that, and it's like, nothing's happened, yeah? So I always say put an extra one or two in. So I'm going to go... I've got two of my hand there, yeah? I'm just going to make a little hole with my finger in the middle. I'm going to drop them in there, yeah? Now, what I'm going to do is, as you close it over and pinch it down, just move to the next one, yeah? So, if you, if you want to, you can do your holes first. Where are we? Another two in there. Close it over, pinch it down, and we go to that one there. Okay, should have done one of them videos, shouldn't I? And here's one I've done earlier, but obviously I haven't. Couple in there, and I'm in. That one there, couple in there. You'll have to, if you do do them, send us some pictures, yeah? And show me how yours are getting on. At the minute, I'm following, um, this site or this page on Facebook, it's great. It's like garden tips, so you have to be invited into it. Um, and it's a dead positive thing I've been watching. Loads of people are putting up, you know, you've got people who have never done gardening before. I mean, I don't proclaim to be like a, bit, a major gardener, but I try my best. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I really enjoy doing it and get my, my hands dirty. And it, you know, like if you don't know the names of plants and stuff like that, people will post and say, oh, it's this or that's a weed. Because sometimes we look at a plant, uh, something growing in the garden and we think, oh, look at that, that's a little flower growing. Sometimes they're just weeds. So I've done that one, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put these seeds to one side before I do any more, okay. Whenever you do them, you don't want to get a watering can and soak them. Yeah, because think how little those seeds are. So all I've done is use um, one of these plastic containers we've got for the cleaner products, what we pour into. So make sure it's clean and, the, you know, there's no product still left in there. And then I've just put water in there. So I'm going to take it away from there. And then I am going to, let me turn it on, spray it. So it's not as harsh, yeah? And then what you need to do, you can put them either on a window ledge, somewhere, you know, you might have a conservatory. You might just have, be, have a bedroom and a living room, so you could put them all in the bedroom. Whatever you think is going to be safe, you could even put them on a tray, yeah? Make sure you keep water in them. Now, I tell, if you're spraying them like this, you want to make sure that the compost is damp, that you don't just spray them and think, oh, that's enough. Make sure it's damp. So you literally have a good feel. Is there enough water in there? Yeah. And then you leave them. Go back to them each day and make sure you're watering them because you don't want them to dry out. Yeah. If you want to and it's a really warm room and you've still got your heating on and then obviously the sun's coming through, just give them a water in the morning and then later on at night as well i've got some at home at the minute i've started my uh, sweet peas so what i've been doing with them again started off like this but my back room's really warm so i am watering mine twice a day but you know what just have a feel they don't need to be drenched and if they, you're feeling it and it's too dry and there's nothing coming off give it a little bit of water yeah talk to them 
you will grow to an amazing flower and we can put it in our garden. Now, honestly, research shows that apparently if you talk to your plants, they grow better. I am going to carry on and I'm going to do the rest of these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back a couple of weeks um, and see how they're getting on. Yeah, because what we aim to do once the seed starts growing and we start getting a little bit of a shoot, what we might need to do is take them out of that because there might be not enough room in there. Yeah, been looking at the weather, especially there's a lot of gardens out there at the minute are constantly going, oh, we've still got frost, we've still got frost. Frost's not great when you're sowing seeds because it kills them off. Yeah. So we want to, you know, keep them nice and warm, keep them watered. But when they are ready to go out, you might be able to put them straight in the garden. What you can do is you can separate them, and I'll show you that on the next video, just into a bit bigger of a pot. So I'll try and find something else similar to the egg boxes. What we can use it might just be um, a fruit basket, you know, what like apples and stuff in it. I don't know, something that's just a little bit bigger than that what we can separate and then grow more of okay so that was just a little quick video today on how to sow seeds hope you enjoy it